It's a precious stretch of the Mediterranean that's almost as big as Portugal, where humans and marine life coexist underwater. The Pelagos Sanctuary off the southern coast of France is where divers come to see blue and white dolphins. Black pilot whales, sperm whales and even fin whales. Off the island of Porquerolles, two nature photographers have been observing the wildlife of this protected region with the help of an acoustician. For seven months, their microphones have been listening to the sperm whale population and many questions remain unanswered. Are they OK? Do they do everything here? Are the conditions right for them to stay here all year round? All of that we don't actually know yet. They certainly have their favourite spots and a place to reproduce which are elsewhere. It's believed that the sperm whale population that's taken up residency in these waters could number as many as 500. But the first mammals to show off their fins are blue and white dolphins. Weighing 120 kilograms on average, they're quick, agile and can live up to 40 years. Between 20 and 40,000 of these dolphins live in this sanctuary. But many of these marine mammals are timid. In order to track them down, we turn to the acoustician. He lowers his microphones into the water, and suddenly, bingo. Oh. A sperm whale. Yes. The underwater world is surprisingly a cacophony of noise. The animal detected weighs 40 tonnes and is on the hunt. There he's found a prey. He's found a prey, and so we'll soon hear a buzzing sound. These clicking sounds echo through the water for a distance of 10 kilometers. It's how whales communicate and get their bearings. We're all excited. It's an animal that hasn't actually been seen yet, but we know that it's down there. We made a bet this would happen, and he's there. We've heard him. Sightings of sperm whales are rare, but we do meet plenty of dolphins, their bodies covered in scars, the signs of some rather physical and loving grappling. Today, still no sign of the sperm whales. These naturalists managed to film one a few months ago. In his body is four tonnes of oil that he heats with his blood. This allows the whale to change the density of its body to sink lower or rise to the surface. These images are carefully examined by the experts on deck to get a better idea of the whale's lifestyle. These sperm whales bear the scars of battle wounds from fighting deep down in the sea. You can see these marks, these huge scars. You can also see the suction marks from giant squid. Things are happening here, but we're still trying to work out these animals because we don't actually know much about their biology yet. We know very little about them. Another giant of the deep blue has come to make a stop off in this sanctuary, the fin whale. These marine biologists have jumped at the chance to photograph the huge mammal's dorsal fin, which is kind of a fingerprint for whales. Look at this pretty round shape. These images will go into a catalogue that we share with other associations and photographers, and they will allow them to recognise each of these whales individually in the future. So, for example, we'll be able to find out if this whale was photographed last year and where. Today we're logging a photo and a GPS point. Its elegant and streamlined shape allows the whale to swim for up to 300 kilometres a day. So that the animal doesn't get stressed, the boat follows him at a low speed. This giant can live until he's 80 years old, feeding on tiny shrimp called krill. Well done, Steph. That was great. <laughs> we took some great shots. She gave us a pretty smile. But the large sea mammals face a man-made risk every day, 
collisions with large ships. In Fosse-sur-Mer, a 16-metre whale was killed by a tanker carrying gas. At the moment, 220,000 such ships sail across the sanctuary each year, killing between 20 and 40 whales. We've calculated that more than 3,500 times a year, a large marine mammal and a ship find themselves within a radius of 50 metres. So that means that we're not in a situation where these animals don't know how to dodge the ships, but rather that they spend their time dodging the ships. And sometimes they miss, especially the younger whales. The Pelagos Sanctuary is also facing a new and invisible threat. Growing quantities of chemical pollutants and plastic particles are invading the waters and bodies of these magnificent mammals, putting their lives at risk.